When you purchase any version of Ableton Live from Reverb between June 16th and July 7th, 2025, you get the Reverb Drum Machine's complete collection for free. It contains high quality samples of over 50 classic and rare vintage drum machines. It's valued at over $900 and the drum machines themselves would cost tens of thousands of dollars if you can even find them. You'll get them all for free when you purchase Ableton Live from Reverb. Click the link in the description. Hi, this is Brian Funk, Ableton Certified Trainer, and I'm here to tell you about the Reverb Drum Machine's complete collection and show you how to get started using them in any style of music within Ableton Live. The Reverb Drum Machine's complete collection comes with over 50 volumes of vintage, rare, and landmark drum machines that narrate the history of the drum machine, from classic drum sounds using countless recordings to rare instruments that nearly slipped through the cracks of history. This collection has just about every drum sound you could ever need for any genre of music. I'm gonna show you some fun ways to use them in your music. Once you download the drum machines, you're gonna see that they are all in zip files within this folder. And you're gonna recognize some classics like the Roland TR series, the 808s, the 909s. And we'll just double click on these to extract them. Let's go into Ableton Live. I'm gonna open up my browser by clicking on this little button in the top left corner. And under places, there's an option to add folders. This is where we can add any folder from our computer. I'm gonna select that. I'm gonna go into my downloads and I'm gonna select the Reverb Drum Machine Collection and click open. And now that is right inside my browser and all these files that I've opened are here. And we can see what's going on in each one of these folders. I'm gonna go into the audio files and we can preview audio files by just clicking on them. And Live will play them back for us. Some of these are loops, some of these are one shots. Let's go into our 808, and the 808 has folders for each sound with some slight variations. This ought to give you some idea of just how deep and well thought out these sample packs are. One of the best ways to play around with these samples is to use them within a drum rack. So I'm gonna click on the drums portion of my browser, navigate to the drum rack, and drag it onto a MIDI track. The drum rack has pads where you can drop samples and then play them back using MIDI notes. Now let's go to our drum machine here. And all we need to do is just pick out our sounds and drop them onto a pad in the drum machine. So let's pick a kick drum. There it is. And I can play it back by playing that note right there. And let's go into our snare drums and pick one we like. So with this one here, and I'm gonna put that right down here and we can hear the two different drum sounds. Now, if you have a computer keyboard, you can enable the MIDI computer keyboard by clicking this button that looks like a keyboard at the top right here. I'll record enable this track, and now my computer keyboard can play back these drum sounds. This becomes even more fun with a MIDI controller, a keyboard, pads, or something like Ableton's Push. I can continue to drop samples into the drum rack. And now I've got a drum machine that I've made from classic 808 samples. So you can recreate classic drum machines, but what's even more fun is to combine them into new custom drum machines using samples from different drum machines. Let's go into this Oberheim DMX and see what we have here different types of sounds. Maybe we'll use the shaker here. And I'll put that maybe right over here. We got a stick hit, we can put that here. Let's hear what the toms sound like. So some cool toms, let's get that real low one. I'll go into another pack, maybe this disco drum. I've been interested to hear this. Very lo-fi stuff. So let's bring in a crash. I'll put that over here. It can be helpful to rename these so that you can see which drums they are. So right here, I've got the 808 kick. I'm gonna just right click to rename it. There's also Command or Control R as a shortcut. I can just write in kick drum. And then I can go over here and write stick, snare, and so on. Another fun technique is to layer drum samples together. So we've got, say, the snare drum. And what if I want something with a little more crack to it? Maybe I'll go into our Oberheim DMX and maybe I can find a clap. So if I click and drag this and hold down the command key, 
Now Live will stack those two samples inside an instrument rack so that we can hear them both at the same time. So we're hearing a clap and a snare. Let me mute the snare. There's just the clap. And I'll mute the clap. And now together. So pretty cool. By default, Live creates what's called a simpler instrument when you drop a sample. We're going to right click that and convert the simpler to a drum sampler. A drum sampler is a sampler instrument that's really designed for drum samples. And I can right click on the entire drum rack and select simpler to drum sampler. And all of these will now be converted to drum samplers. And there's some fun things you can do in here once you have your drum sampler. So let's look at our clap, for instance. We can change the gain of this instrument, make it a little bit louder. We can transpose it. Maybe I'll drop it down a little bit here. There's a filter. So I'm changing the filtering of that. And then you've got some macro effects, which are a lot of fun. This is called stretch right now. This gives our clap a kind of cool stretched out sound. And we can do that for lots of other sounds. I'm gonna go inside our kick drum and we will go to a different effect here. Let's give this a sub oscillator to add some low end to this kick. Now we really have some weight to that kick drum. And we can also use Live's built-in audio effects to add some extra fun to our sounds. I'm gonna use a reverb on our stick sound. I can drag and drop this effect right on top of that pad and it just gets added to the end. And now this drum stick click sounds like this. And we can go into the reverb, maybe adjust the dry and wet, the decay time, and a really long decay time. It might be fun to put a little delay on our snare clap sound that we made. In addition to adding effects to individual hits in our drum rack, we can also add them to the entire drum rack. Let's take Live Saturator and bring that in after the drum rack device. So now everything within here is being processed through this effect afterwards. Whereas before, the effect is within the drum rack right after that individual instrument is saturator. Let's use the bass shaper to drive our low end a bit here. Very cool. We can then do something fun with, say, the Redux device, which will give us sort of an 8-bit type of sound where it's a bit-crushing device, so. Any effect you want to put on there is really useful. Now let's create a MIDI clip using our drum rack. So we can go into our clip slots here and double click to create a one bar MIDI clip. And in here we can see the different instruments with our drum racks. We can click this headphones icon to preview each sound. And then just double click to draw in our patterns. So let's draw in some kick drums and then maybe a snare on the two and the four. Maybe on the second four, we'll bring in our, our delay snare. To create a hi-hat pattern, I'm gonna click here to go into Live's MIDI generators and keep it on rhythm and select my closed hat. And Live has put in four notes for me and it's over eight steps. We can change the pattern if we like and the density of notes. We can change the step duration. I'm gonna make it 16th notes so we get a few more hi-hats. And we'll give a, say, 10 different hi-hats. And we'll hear what this pattern sounds like. And I could change the pattern on the fly. Cool. And I'll hit 
the stop button to stop the clip. While this is playing, I can click our session record button here. And now the clip turns red, which means anything I do now will get recorded in. And I'm just going to record this stick hit. And now I've got a stick hit right here. We can see it's a little bit off the grid, which you might like, but in this case, we're going to change that. I'm going to go to our MIDI transform tools, go to quantize, and then just have this set to the grid. I'm going to click transform and that goes right back to where we want it. I'm going to hit control Z to undo that. And suppose I don't want it to go all the way to the grid. I can just bring this amount down to say, let's, we can see it in real time, maybe 75%. So I'm maintaining some of my humanity in my performance, but I'm also correcting it a little bit. Now, if you're somebody that likes to play in your drums, but you don't want to worry about the grid so much and just play freely, Live has a great feature called Capture. It remembers all of the MIDI that you've played. And I'm going to demonstrate that for you. I'm going to play a little bit on my push, and then I'm going to use this Capture button, which is this little square up here, to capture my performance. And Live will figure out the tempo and make it fit within a clip so that I can start adding to that to make my own music. So I played something and I'm going to go here to capture and live has created a clip of my performance and you can see the tempo has been changed from 120 to 93.5 and I've got my performance. Some of the reverb drum machine samples are just loops because not all these drum machines allowed you to hear and play individual drum hits. They were just loops. So I'm going to drag this onto an audio clip here and we can click on warp and live will figure out the timing of these and then I click the loop button and now this will loop. I've got a fun little beat and I can even combine that with one of my other MIDI clips that I made before. It just kind of works out. Here's the other one I made. I'm going to bring in a couple of other drum loops from different drum packs. Just drop them right onto clips like we did before. And I'll select them all by shift clicking on them. We'll click warp and we'll click loop. And just like before, we should be able to mix them in with our beats. This is a really fun way to experiment with different rhythms and different interactions between our sounds. Now, suppose you really like these sounds of these TIAC drums, for instance, but we don't have the individual hits. We can simply slice this up into a new drum rack, and it's very easy and live. Once the sample is warped, we right click and we do slice to new MIDI track, and we get to choose how we want it sliced. Generally, if you select transients, that will work pretty well with drum samples because the transients are the little points here indicated by these white triangles. I'm going to just stick with the built-in slicing preset and click OK. And Live has created a new drum rack with those slices. And we can play these back on our controller. I've got a song I've been working on with my band, Some Good Evil, and I want to show you how we can use some of these drum samples to kind of beef up a track. And maybe in this opening here, maybe I want a little something to just kind of add a little rhythm. So I'm going to drop in one of these samples. I've got it in here. I've clicked warp, and I can adjust the timing of these to fit right on my grid here. And they're pretty close. And let's hear how this sounds. I might pitch these down a little. And just like before, I can bring in some audio effects to change this up. And I've got an auto filter that I'm going to play around with to take away some of those low and high frequencies. Or 
perhaps a little taste of reverb on there. Bring the dry wet down. And then this is a nice little part of our intro until the verse would come in for the vocals. It's just a little lift in energy. And maybe as I get to my chorus of my song, I want to add a little lift to the drums with a clap sound. I can drag in a clap like our 808 clap and just place it right on the grid where I want it. This is gonna be like on the twos and the fours. I'm gonna hold the option key to just duplicate this. And I will select that area and duplicate it out a couple times. Now I'm gonna be accenting the snares in this song with a little clapping. Maybe I'll put a reverb on it. This is without it, no clap. So these samples are great in any kind of music, even like a rock song, you can use some drum machine samples just to give a little bit of extra spice to your music. We can use our reverb drum machine sample collection in any DAW or any sampler we want. And I'm gonna show you how to get them onto Ableton Move so you can play these samples on the go. We're gonna to go to our web browser and go to move.local to enter the Move Manager. As long as your Move and your computer are on the same Wi-Fi, you can get there. There'll be a code displayed on your Move. I'm going to enter that on the Move Manager web page, and here I am. And now we've got sets, recordings, samples, and presets. And I'm going to go into samples, and we're going to upload some samples. I'm going to select these guys. We're going to skip the loops for now and click Upload. And here they are, and we can preview them. Now I'm going to click on an empty clip slot inside of Move and then go inside here. We've got a drum kit already loaded, but let's replace these samples. So I'm going to select our kick drum and then click here and go back into our user samples. And now I've got my reverb sounds and we can find a kick here. And if I need to turn this up a little bit in volume, I'll just hold it and All right. And then let's go to our snare and let's replace that as well with one of our new reverb samples. Finally, I'm just going to replace this hi hat again, same process, go back to our user samples, and this looks like a hi-hat. We can preview them as we scroll through, which is really helpful. And it's very easy to start sequencing stuff with Move. We just select our drum here, and I'm gonna give ourselves like a nice rock and roll kind of beat here. And hit play to hear that. Put our snare on the two and the four. Some hi-hats. We can also use the samples that were already in this drum kit. Put those claps in there. On the right hand side, we can play our snare at different pitches. So I could have my snare here and maybe what I'll do at the end of this bar is just have the snare pitch down a couple times, a little bit of a roll. So we'll start here and then we'll go. So that's already in there. So let's do here, there, and there. And let's hear what that sounds like. And we've made a little beat. So this is a combination of some of the sounds that came with the move. And we're just putting them in. So now we've got a combination of our reverb samples and the samples within Move. So much fun you can have here. I hope what you're realizing is that this is just the tip of the iceberg. You can go so much further and be really creative and experimental with these drum samples. They're for all kinds of music. It's your imagination that's the only limitation. So check out Reverb's Drum Machine's complete collection. There's tons of sounds and you can go so deep and have so much fun with them. Thanks a lot for watching and have a great day.